Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, how is it going? Welcome back to World of Tanks. And what do I have for you today is one crazy, crazy battle with good old YOLO Wagon Object 263. Tank that made a lot of people mad, super mad, extremely mad when Wargaming decided to replace it with Object 268 version 4. At first, a lot of people were... <laughs> By the way, that name Object 263. <laughs> uh, yeah, but at first, a lot of people were extremely mad, because uh, Object 263 was one of a kind vehicle with a 550 alpha damage boomstick, with really awesome DPM, fast firing gun, awesome frontal armor, crazy face hugging vehicle, anti mobility as well, of course that was uncharacteristically good for this kind of tank and uh, mobility was part of the reasons or one of the reasons why it was called YOLO wagon in the first place it was really tempting to rush into the action to YOLO into action when you have this kind of frontal armor when you have that TPM that mobility that face hugging capability of course it was really extremely tempting to face our gold enemies to death when you were playing with object 263 and this is why it was called called a YOLO wagon. Now DPM was nerfed extremely hard. I believe it lost around 1000 stock DPM when it was moved down by one tier. It had uh, stock DPM was uh, 3200 at, and at the moment it has uh, 2200. So pretty damn big difference. But almost all the rest of the vehicle has stayed the same. Of course it lost uh, some HP because it was moved down by one tier. But if I remember correctly armor didn't change at all. I can quickly check actually. Uh, so at the moment 250 frontal armor, 8 on the sides, 15 the rear and uh, prior patch 920, let's say 9, uh, 919, 250, 80 and 50. So armor stayed exactly the same but just yes, the PM 3216 down to uh, 2249. But as I said, a lot of people were mad when at first Wargaming announced that they are going to replace this vehicle. And actually, at one point, for a week or so, Wargaming took back the original idea to replace this vehicle in the first place with version 4. And one week later they said, okay, we are still going through with it. And what they came up with is one of the best, one of the strongest tanks in this game, if not the best, and if not the strongest tank in this game at the moment, called Object 268 version 4, that has the best wind ratio as well, so we can quite easily say that at the moment it is uh, out, uh, out of place, it is overpowered, a little bit overtuned, just to be polite over here, because to get 57% wind ratio with one vehicle, that shows quite clearly that this vehicle has something that other vehicles do not have. And I'm not talking about Glanvor's uh, reward tanks, because 907 also has 58.52% uh, wind ratio. Actually, VK7201K has 57.36% uh, wind ratio, but all those vehicles are Glanvor's reward tanks. And the only players who are playing with those tanks are really, really experienced players. But the average wind ratio for average player base is around, uh, let's say, 50% because it is actually around 50% usually you see like even under 50% wind ratio players uh, because let's be honest over here average player or a little bit under average player is uh, quite bad in world of tanks and I am not saying anything bad over here or I do not mean mean anything bad because not all players are after for good uh, statistics high win rate and so on there are many many players a lot of players maybe even most of the players who are here to simply have fun, who are here to play this uh, game for maybe one or two hours in the evening, and not uh, in every single evening. And of course, if you spend only one or two hours every other night to this game, you are not able to be the best, because uh, World of Tanks is actually one of the hardest games to master. It takes so much time to learn one map, to learn all the positions for every single uh, tank type, uh, to learn the playstyle, to learn weak spots. Uh, it, it can take up to years, actually, 
to get really good in this game, so I can understand it. But once again, this proves my point when average Joe, like this, is able to get 57% win ratio with one vehicle and uh, let's say 47% with any other vehicle, then of course something is off. But guys, how did this happen? Once again I did it. I didn't want to talk about Object 268 version 4, I simply wanted to say a couple words about 263 and why it is called a Yellow Wagon. And here I am, 5 minutes later, and this was my short intro for today's episode. I don't know, sometimes I cannot even believe myself. I can talk about different topics for hours, for literally hours. Maybe I should start my own talk show or, or podcast, I don't know. Actually, podcast. Would you, would you listen to it? Anyway, let's get into the action and let's focus on the gameplay now. This battle was played by Ranger48 and it is one treat of a battle with good old Yolo Wagon. All, all my intro, all that long intro was simply to prove that I believe even despite Wargaming tuned it down a lot, moved it down by one tier, it can still be classified, it can still be called as a Yolo Wagon in World of Tanks in my opinion at least. It didn't lose its uh, Yolo Wagon title. Yes, version 4 is Yolo Wagon as well, but 263 is the one and only OG Yolo Wagon. And you are going to see this tank in action in this battle. At the moment it is 1 vs 5, it was 1 vs 6, so 5 more enemy vehicles left to kill, but Look at the matchmaking, look at the HP. It is not going to be the easiest 1 vs 5 fight over here because on the enemy side there are 3 tier 9 vehicles still alive and 263 is tier 9 vehicle as well. Full HP D30, there is not so full HP anymore, Conqueror and WZ120 is also lurking around with over 1200 HP. So this 1 vs 5, uh, oh sorry, 1 vs 4 now is still not the easiest. But as you can see, Ranger has built one really nice barricade for himself. You cannot let those guys through and he started shooting HG and hash rounds because I believe Conqueror can fire hash rounds. But there goes enemy D30 from full HP to no HP and he was able to damage you with only one HE round, he did 55 damage to you, but Conqueror received yet another nasty shot, and even in this situation Ranger is not using any premium rounds whatsoever and WZ120 is he able to squeeze himself through, no he wasn't able to do that, he gave up and now he has been trapped, and here you can see that Yellow Wagon title in action, WZ120 is trying to get away, but Ranger traps that WZ120 like a little rat, like mouse playing with his, uh, his food. He has been trapped, he is not able to get away from this position and 120 doesn't have enough gun elevation to do anything, he is busy trying to get away but oh my god what is happening in this battle guys. This guy is not even trying actually to shoot at ranger so... <laughs> This is a little bit sad to even look at, but super funny at the same time. What can you do? That 120 was trapped. He kinda trapped himself and a little helping hand from Ranger 48 as well. But from 1 vs 6 to 1 vs 1. 237 HP left and 1 IS-3 left to kill. But where is that IS-3? Let's take a look in the chat. IS on its side, top to water. Hmm, a little riddle over here. Crypted meshes, guys. Top to water. I believe that means IS-3 is on its side. Let's quickly fast forward a little bit because uh, Ranger is struggling to get through his own barricade. Uh, now you know that you built a really awesome barricade if you're not able to get through yourself as well. But finally he was able to do that and IS-3, IS-3 is on its side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only enemy vehicle still alive, full HP IS-3. Over here Ranger is actually playing it super smart because he's trying to spot the IS-3, trying to understand under what kind of angle is that IS-3 so he is not going to be killed and he actually had time to reposition as well. So two more shots needed, here comes the first one and here comes the second one and done. 
IS-3 has been destroyed, over 11,000 damage done, no premium rounds used whatsoever. Whew, what a battle, it was one really really enjoyable battle to watch in my opinion at least, so thank you Ranger48 for uploading it to my replay site. But now let's say hello to Victory Girls to see what Ranger received for this battle, Ace Tanker, some stickers that you can put on your tank, 7.2 thousand uh, experience, 134,000 credits, not bad, 10 bonds, Kolobanov's metal, always awesome, high caliber top gun and steel wall. 11,031 uh, damage done, 7 kills and close to 2,000 raw experience. In 5-10 matchmaking it is even more impressive. Close to 2,000 raw experience. Yeah. 27 shots fired, 24 hits, uh, 4050 damage bounced, 12 enemy vehicles damaged, 7 kills, what else, 84,000 credits profit as well. Yeah, enough said. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Ranger 48 with his good old trusty Yolo Wagon Object 263. Or new old Yolo Wagon, because it is kind of new in tier 8 position. Uh, sorry, in tier 9 position. I hope you enjoyed today's episode as well. Let's press, let's smash the thumbs up button for Ranger 48. Let's do it together. One, two, three. Done. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Stay awesome. Take care and bye.